Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Season of the Lost, week 5. And as always, we are gonna check out which challenges lay await for this week. And also look at what the story is and how it is continuing. So yeah, we got Wayfinder's Voyage 5 that we need to complete. I think we're at step 30. So today it's probably going to be step 31 to 35 or something like 37, maybe. Uh, so yeah, use your Wayfinder's Compass to complete the Wayfinder's Voyage 5. Also take a defeat taken with both anywhere in the system. Deceiving appearances. Use Igor's Scepter to carve a path through illusionary barriers in the Shattered Realm and claim the treasures they conceal additional alliance beacons in the Scattered Realm. Ascended Ballast. Gather Ascended Anchors from patrols, destinations, patrol destinations and the Shattered Realm. Uh, we got Stellar Aim. Defeat combatants with hand cannons and stasis damage. Combatants defeated in Astral Alignment activity grant bonus progress. We got Zone Control, capture zones in any Crucible match. We got the Astral Challenge, Astral Calibration. Acquire the Seasonal Ritual Weapon. Isn't the Seasonal... Ri Wait, the Ritual Weapon is a Rocket Launcher? Isn't the Ritual Weapon the ex Seasonal Exotic? Okay, I'm confused. Anyway, I've got this one complete, apparently. And then strike at Xivu Arath, uh, min uh, Arath's minions, is defeat taken and scorn bosses in strike. So five taken bosses and five scorn bosses defeated. So only seven quests for this week. That's not really a lot. There we go. And yeah, as always, we got a seasonal rank pop up. That's uh, something that always happens at the start of uh, my game. I'm really, I'm not timing it, guys. So yeah, let's see where this quest is leading us. Surrounded. A ring of spears pointing inward from the edges of our system. The Black Fleet could have destroyed us, and yet they have waited. Why? Sarathun knows more than she lets on. It is the only reason she still lives, and she is keenly aware of that fact. It is why Zivu Arath pursues her so relentlessly. For Zivu Arath answers to the same entity as the Black Fleet. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. I must reiterate. She will try to betray us. It is all that a wretched, self-serving creature like Savathu knows how to do. She needs me to free herself of her worm. But after that, the blind well requires alignment. As you rescue my remaining Techians, continue your audiences with her. How did Mies Rax put it? We must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Though I suppose he never said for how long. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's pick up the bounties. And then, yeah, like every week, we need to do an astral alignment within the blind well using our Wayfinder's compass. That well of utility here as well. Uh, pretty nice. And I don't think. Oh, we can actually acquire. I'm gonna wait for it because usually one of these steps tells us that we need to. Uh, upgrade one of these so i'm gonna wait uh with that upgrade and petra it's ikora ray i thought now would be a good time to check in things are progressing as well as can be expected given the circumstances while we've recovered some of the lost techians we still don't have everyone we need to separate savathun from her worm understood don't rush this on my account savathun may be waiting for the freedom she thinks is coming but frankly, I don't care what she wants. This needs to be done with as minimal risk to your people as possible. I know you hope that this will lead you to Osiris. But you want my opinion? Osiris is already dead. Savathun is a creature of lies. She has no honor. Your opinion is noted. And on the subject of opinions, how's Crow? You want my take? On him? In a word, vulnerable. But Queen Mara refuses to send him away. Though, you could. Trust is a delicate thing, Petra. I don't want to lose his. This is important to him. I trust Crow to make the right choices, and for you to protect him from himself if he doesn't. Okay, so it's up to Ikora to protect him. Uh, I think Ikora will kill him, <laughs> not protect him. If he makes the wrong choices. 
Petra will kill him and we will probably be the ones that stop him. So yeah, uh, on to the blind will we go. Uh, we picked up all the quests and form an astral alignment within the blind will. Step 32 out of 53. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, before I go in, I'm gonna pick up all the quests that I can from everywhere. Because uh, we're gonna need to do a strike after this one uh, eventually as well for the next step. So I might as well get those uh, quests over with before I actually start running anything. Zivuor Roth must be terrified of what Savathun might say. She's not the only one. I sense the same fear from you. Are the ley lines natural phenomena or something the Awoken created? They're naturally occurring paracausal forces that predate the Awoken. The only entities that might know their true origin and makeup are the Nine. But I don't think they're telling. Target the Aether when it's released. The Scorn can't poison the ley lines without it. Scans show that this sector is clear. Unfortunately, Zivor Roth's forces are already amassing elsewhere. As long as we have Savathun, she won't stop coming. Queen Mara, if your ritual goes according to plan, what will happen to Savathun? Without her worm, she'll be powerless. That seems like a waste. Imagine how much intel she could provide. To us? Or to you? The Taken Rifts are receding, and the area is secure. Until we reveal the true voice behind the darkness, none of us can be secure. Flint, if you had to describe the way the spider treated Crow in a single word, what word would that be? Uh, well, the spider is a valued member of the Shores, uh, ecosystem. I wouldn't want to offend. The spider is not here. Well, I... I would say... Horrible. He was horrible. He tortured Crow, demeaned him, treated him like a possession. That's enough. I have all the confirmation I need. Uh, so yeah, form an astral alignment within the blind well. Use your wayfinder's compass offensive astral alignment completed. Wait, what? I just did this. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I'm going back in. If we secure the Techians and remove Sabathun's worm, will that end the curse on the Dreaming City? It's a necessary step, but unfortunately not sufficient. For a long time, we thought that the Blindwell led to your throne world alone, Queen Mara. That used to be the case, until our new Techians cleverly repurposed it. In doing so, they opened the blind well to the rest of the Ascendant Plane, and Zivu Arath. As strange as it sounds, we may have stumbled into a beneficial situation here. How so? Your Techians are scattered and the Dreaming City is on the verge of being overrun. Yes, but at least we're fighting on our terms. With Savathuna's bait, Zivu Arath has come to us on our field of choice. Once the servitors release the ether, destroy it before it reaches the harvesters. The scorn are broken, and all that ether is lost. Better to lose the ether than the blind well. Good work, Guardian. I sense taken rifts condensing. Zivu Arath's army will be here soon. Keep the compass safe, Guardian. The Techians study both light and darkness, right? They study paracausal forces in whatever form they manifest. And they don't shy away from the truth, even if it comes from the darkness. What's your point, Crow? Savathun knows the truth about the Black Fleet. Why shouldn't we learn from her, even if she's a creature of darkness? If you're counting on getting the truth from the Hive God of Deceit, you're already lying to yourself. Okay, so did we complete the quest now? 
Ah, oh, come on! Ah, there we go! Ooh! <laughs> nice, okay, so... Yeah, collect the parallax trajectory to triangulate the location of the lost Tekken for step 33. Okay, so for step 34 out of 53, we need to enter the Shattered Realm through the Helm a map to find and rescue a lost Tekken, and we need to clear the debris of dreams. Once more, we part the curtain of reality, and you step beyond. Okay. And yeah, we've already been to this place, guys, so I'm gonna run this one out. Damn. Don't think I've got four champions, though. Excellent work, Guardian. We I've couldn't only seen have done three. it without you. Uh, oh, over there. <laughs> Already running in the wrong direction. Free the Stekian. Collar. I wonder how old they are. Crow, I did receive old. your latest report. Yeah, I've had a lot going on out here. On top of getting the runaround from middle management. That sort of attitude might fly out in the reef, but you will take your responsibilities as a guardian seriously. I... I, I will, I do. Sorry. I've just... I have a lot on my mind. I know. Just remember, you don't have to bear that burden alone. Okay, so before we take the wrong one, which upgrade do we need to take? The Sight Frequency Echoes ability. Okay. Sight Frequency Echo ability. Sight Frequency Echoes. Frequency up echoes. It's gonna be this one, right? Don't see uh, one side beyond sight. No. Frequency echoes. Probably gonna be this one. Yeah. There we go. And we got some coins left. So let's take this one. And let's take this one. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, next step. What do we need to do? Probably go talk to somebody. Yeah, speak to Savathun in Mara's chambers. And nobody on video phone. Go see what she has to say. Oh, half a circle full. So yeah, we're missing three more. So that means that the quest line, at least this quest line, uh, is probably eight weeks, as far as I can see it. Miss? When this is over, I wonder if Mara will uphold her end of the bargain and let me live. No. Killing me is probably at the top of your to-do list as well. Yes. Isn't it? You've yes. done a lot of killing over the years. Yes. Let me ask you something. Of all the enemies you fought, how many saw your ghost and realized, ah, oh, that's why guardians are so strong? Not most, but some. They might have even taken a shot at it. R.I.P. Cade. Now, how many saw beyond your ghost? How many followed the line of your light straight back to the Traveler? And how many knew enough to aim a weapon there? A few. The smart ones. The dangerous ones. You'd recognize their names. Listen to me now. Look beyond me to my worm. Look beyond my worm to something far, far worse. Then look down at that little gun in your hand and tell me. What do you think you're going to do with that thing? The thing in my hand? 
<laughs> lady you don't want to know and i think she, i think she was talking about crow because the only one so far from every cinematic that i've seen was the crow that was actually pointing gun at the lights to take a piece of the light out of there if i'm if i'm remembering correctly i'm not really sure if she's actually talking about uh about the crow I, th I think she's talking about the crow there and i think that was kind of it yeah this quest step will progress at the next weekly reset and of course completed there we go always really nice when we actually complete this at the end of the episode i do believe i completed all of them so far yeah all right there we go let's uh yeah let's sit in the middle of this circle here <laughs> and clean the floor like we always do find some peace to end this episode there you go guys that was the development of the storyline this week and a little look into the challenges that this week brings only seven so it shouldn't be all that hard like i said this is where i'm gonna wrap up this episode if you want to see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in destiny 2 or maybe future games i might play on this channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye